Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, today we're going to be installing some V8 Roadsters fender braces on my NA Miata. Uh, so here's the car right here. I uh, recently got it painted black. Uh, There's a huge update that's coming for this car, but I just want to show you pretty much what we're doing today to the car, just that way I can film some content. Um, here's the V8 Roadsters fender braces here. What we do with these is we're going to take them, we're going to pop off the fenders and they're going to bolt here to the door and then up to the top just to strengthen that front core um, just to give the car a little bit more rigidity. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is pull off both front fenders and the front bumper. I'll just make a quick little time lapse of that. All right, so once you get your fenders off, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna take the brace here. Move this harness out of the way. It's gonna pretty much bolt on straight like that. So our bracket comes with some included hardware. So we're gonna take out the two bottom door bolts and then the top bracket, one bottom door bolt there. These two 10 millimeter bolts and then the brace is going to sandwich in between this thin piece of uh, metal here. You're going to want to move this one out of the way, take out that grommet from the engine bay so that grommet is going to pop out and then it's going to sandwich itself in between there. Once I get it all bolted, I'll show you what it looks like. Now what you want to do before you start unbolting the door hinge bolts, you're going to take a jack and just open the door and apply a little bit of pressure just enough to hold the door from sagging before you go ahead and start unbolting the bolts or else the door line will be off and then your gaps are going to be bad and your door might be sagging. Um, so you just want to try and do your best to prevent that. So what I did was I put the jack there. Now I'm going to unbolt that one bottom bolt there, the two bottom bolts there, and then we're going to mock up the brace. Alright, so that's what we did, two bolts there, the one bottom bolt for the door hinge, and then there is two spacers that the kit comes with, with some included hardware. There's two 10 mm bolts that are right here in this location, you're going to take out those, put the spacers on the inside of the, of the, uh, the, the gusset, two spacers there, and then bolt down those Allen bolts there, and then last thing we're going to do is run two pilot holes there. So we can put this little sandwich plate on the inside of the engine bay. That way it can just complete the connection on that side. Alright, so this side is completely done now. Uh, like I said, it's very easy. Uh, all you're going to do is drill one hole for this back bolt. This one goes right through. After you drill those up, you're going to make sure that you get this wiring here for the airbag sensors. And you want to let it sit right in that little divot on the bracket. That way it doesn't get pinched in between there. Um, just make sure everything's nice and tight. Make sure you add all the washers and hardware to there. Just gonna do the same thing on the other side and you're done. Alright. So I got the other side done. Went ahead and got this side done. So it's the same thing but on this side. Like I was saying before, these are the V8 Roadsters fender braces. 
far as rudely interrupted. These are the V8 Roadsters fender braces. Um, like I said, it's just going to stiffen up the chassis a little bit, give the car a little bit more rigidity, um, just to help it, you know, hit the tailgate better. That way I could be a fast boy. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and just get the fenders thrown back on, throw back on the front bumper, get the whole car all bolted up, and that's pretty much it. I mean, as far as difficulty, this is probably like a 5 out of 10. It's real simple. I mean, pretty much anyone can do it. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Later.